everyone, my name is Dean, let's talk crypto. This is where you subscribe for daily Bitcoin updates and technical analysis. We track the price of Bitcoin as a proxy for the cryptocurrency markets at large. Today I've got a special video for you, a quick tip. Let's say you're looking at the price of Bitcoin and it looks like it's going to do something you want it to do, you know, and you've done your analysis and you want in, you think the low is in or whatever, you want to enter a trade, but you don't have any crypto or USDT or USDC or any dry powder to send over to whatever leverage exchange platform, or, you know, you don't know how to enter the game, right? You want to put some crypto on an exchange, but there's so many different kind of hurdles and barriers to entry for fiat on ramp that it is really onerous at this point in time. So this is the video for you, especially if you're looking to buy small amounts and withdraw it immediately. Watch this, watch until the end. I'm going to show you how to do that. For instance, if you're buying on uh, Coinbase, you know, one of the most popular centralized exchanges, you can't withdraw, you can use that cryptocurrency immediately, but you can't withdraw it uh, until 24 to 48 hours of having purchased it. So it's not super convenient if you want to take advantage of a move. Right now, Bitcoin is likely, uh, just likely finished its correction. Um, and it is, it's basically just done a retest of a breakout, right? Let's say you want to get in on that move. What do you do? You come to CEX.io, one of the oldest exchanges, one of the most reputable exchanges. It's uh, based out of the UK, I believe, and its claim to fame is it's never been hacked, okay? And so basically, you come over here, especially if you're in the US, do your KYC, they require it. That should take you 15 to 20 minutes. Once you do your KYC, you come over to buy and sell. You can do this from the app as well on your phone. And if you want to buy a small amount of crypto, and I'm using $50 for this example, Go ahead and buy Litecoin, and I'll tell you why exactly. You may be able to get by with Doge, and I'll tell you why Litecoin's the best. Litecoin's the best because most every exchange accepts Litecoin. It's one of the oldest cryptocurrencies, right? Not every exchange accepts Doge. And also, the minimum withdrawal of Litecoin is very low for some reason, you always want to look at the withdrawal limits. If, for instance, I bought Matic, $50 of Matic, I would not be able to withdraw it from this uh, exchange because I wouldn't hit the minimum withdrawal amount. Uh, same with Bitcoin, right? So buy Litecoin. Uh, that's very easy. Once you buy it, you want to, if you're in the US or anywhere else, you can't use, they say you can use crypt, uh, credit cards. You can't use any Visa credit cards at the time of recording. Visa is restricting any cryptocurrency transactions, right? Because it's cannibalizing their business. They're trying to stay in business. So they're playing dirty and they're being petty. Uh, you may be able to use MasterCard. You may be able to use American Express, but um, you can use a debit card, which I'm using right now, right? It's a Visa co-branded credit card, but it's not using the payment rails of Visa. So it's fine. And my bank is okay with it. So it went through. Okay. So once that goes through, you get your $50 worth or your small amount worth of cryptocurrency and do check the withdrawal limits or the withdrawal um, minimums before you purchase that cryptocurrency. You don't want to purchase that little bit of cryptocurrency and then realize once you go to withdraw it that, oh, you didn't hit the minimum. But Litecoin, I know $50 worth can be transferred and the fees are about like four dollars um and once you do that you go back you click out of here let's see you go to withdraw and once you're on here from usd you go to the the coin that you just purchased i just purchased litecoin uh if you're on your phone you can just copy that or touch it and then it auto populates but if you want to withdraw the full, full amount, check the address very carefully, the address that you want to send it to. Uh, click that, double check that, and that's it. So Litecoin takes about 12 confirmations from CEX.io to my exchange. And each confirmation, uh, each block 
the block time, I think it's two and a half minutes. So that's about 30 minutes. So if I'm KYC, which takes 15 to 20 minutes, let's say you're not KYC, right? Take 15, 20 minutes to KYC on CX.io, then take another 15 to 20 minutes uh, after you purchase to confirm this uh, purchase, you know, through the blockchain. That's within 40, 45 minutes, you have your cryptocurrency in your chosen exchange or your chosen wallet. Can't beat that. That beats 24 hours. That beats 48 hours. And that's how you onboard. I found out through immense trial and error. If anybody knows any other tricks, please leave them in the comments below. But I mean, right now where we are, we're at, we're so early and I know we're so early because from the United States and I know, you know, the U S has a lot of restrictions, but it's just, I literally don't know any other way to buy cryptocurrency and be able to withdraw it to send wherever I want. That's faster than what I just showed you. So if, if, you like that, you appreciate that, like, subscribe, share, and also use my CX.io, a referral link, you know, uh, show your love. I'm going to leave that in the pinned comment if you're going to use this method. Uh, so yeah, hope that helps. Hope it's useful and I'll see you guys.